What's up, amigos? Today we're looking at the aerodynamics of a Prius, and this is a 2010 model. The drag coefficient is 0 0.6, uh, 0 0.26, sorry, which was pretty good back in 2010. And you can see that the wake is quite small. It's they do a good job with the roof bringing it down, so the wake really comes down. The diffuser could use a bit of work. The front's uh, not too bad. This is a streamlined orbit going from left to right. One thing immediately you can see that there's quite a few streamlines that jump up a lot over the from the mirror side all the way to the roof. So that's not great. Um, but the back is pretty decent. So if you can see here around the side, the streamlines really zip in a lot. So you can see them coming around. So they take up that weight quite nicely around the sides. So they've done a pretty good job with the sides, the um, diffuser and the, the mirror sides, not so much. And this is the pressure on that same plane. And one thing you see, you get a massive uh, low pressure, like it's extensing over the entire roof. And that's pretty much because this is effectively an inverted wing when you think about it. <laughs> and the front, you have a high pressure that increases the drag, which most cars really have. It's very difficult to get rid of. So like, subscribe, and share this with your friends. And do you want a super easy way to make your experiments more accurate? It's really easy. Just measure the temperature, barometer pressure, and humidity of the air you are using. Most aerodynamics assume, they assume that the air is 1.2 or 1.225 kilograms on a given day, but it's not. Every day is different. Here are some graphs showing it can easily be two or 3% different every day. So if you want to make your experiments two or 3% more accurate, make your life easy, and get out Atmosphere Hawk. It accurately measures the temperature, barometer pressure, and humidity and gives you a very accurate density. Link in the description. Peace out, amigos.